five key characters take the stage in a doll's house and bring the powerful drama to life. First is the protagonist, Nora Helmer. Nora is the cheerful wife of Torvald Helmer and the mother of their three children. She takes small jobs and scrounges money from Torvald to pay back a secret loan she took without her proud husband's consent or knowledge for a trip his doctor said would save his life. But this secret financial burden wears on her, causing resentment, a desire to be respected by her husband, and freedom from the limitations society places on her because she's a woman. But Nora's faith in her husband's superior morality unravels over the course of the play. When he maligns her in response to the possibility that she'll hurt his reputation, but then quickly restores it, Nora realizes their marriage is a sham. She leaves Torvald, intent on discovering who she really is and what she really believes in. Torvald Helmer is the condescending, traditionally patriarchal husband of Nora. He feels it's his duty to provide a moral reality for his wife, including instructing her on how she should think, feel, behave, and act. He believes she needs constant guidance because she's intellectually inferior and childish, but all the while, he delights in her beauty. Torvald resents Nora's deceased father for what he sees as negative character traits his wife has inherited, without realizing that he is similar to the man he criticizes. When Nora's secret is revealed, his ah! ugliness and narrow perspective rise to the surface. As Nora leaves, he is left adrift in confusion and despair. Krogstad is trying to regain his reputation in an unforgiving society after being caught and ruined for a crime he committed in the past through employment in a bank where Torvald is the manager. His desperation drives him to blackmail Nora. It is Christine offering him a second chance that saves him. It turns out he isn't motivated by money or desire to win respect from society. Rather, he needs love, understanding, and honesty. These things Christine offers end up redeeming him. Christine, lonely and tired, arrives on Nora's doorstep, essentially in search of a reason to live. Having chosen money over love in her marriage, she now finds herself without means or family life. She tries to steer her friend Nora from making bad choices and losing all she has, wishing for Nora to have a future based on honesty or understanding. Christine drives Nora's revelation that she must seek self-awareness and independence and reverses her own misfortune, finding love, purpose, and a second chance. Dr. Rank, a close friend of Nora and Torvald, diagnoses physical conditions and moral ailments of those around him. Like Torvald, he believes that morality or immorality is inherited both physically, nature, and through upbringing, nurture. But Dr. Rank ultimately turns out to contrast Torvald's self-delusion of moral superiority. Dr. Rank sees reality. He faces his impending death and admits his feelings to Nora, making Torvald the only character in the play who remains clueless about his true nature. 